Hey everyone, this is Optic, and uh, I'm going to be making another video here. Uh, this is Array, obviously, 9v9 on Domination, Hardcore as always. Um, this one should be titled, Holy Crap, Optic is Blind. But just like the last one, uh, I think this was like maybe the first, maybe the second game uh, on my new system. And the white on white, just, I I'm blind. So you'll see a lot of times where I just like shoot all over the place. I'll look right past people. Like coming up right here, I'll shoot to the left. You can totally see his head there. Get him on the second shot. I couldn't see him. I just knew where people camped. Um, one thing I want to address here off the bat is the importance of taking B on this map um, due to what you'll see later when we take it uh, and how pretty much, I'm going to say, easy it is to, t to continue to hold it. But um, the one thing I want to focus on right here is we've got B. I'm going to camp right here. Um, a common mistake that people make is they take an objective and then they immediately leave it and this air. goes for all three um, if if they've already got it they're gonna get a one the visual warning that you just saw there with C with it flashing and then most of the time you're gonna get an audio warning that you're losing it which means that the enemy is most likely gonna be collapsing on your location so that means that if you cap it and just take off running, one, if you don't get shot in the back, you're going to be leaving the objective. They're going to take it right behind you. Um, so what I like to do is I like to take an objective, especially B, if it's B, and then camp that general area for a minute. Stave off that uh, counterattack. And then, okay, go about my business and, like, right here, somehow miss a guy. Or maybe he spawns behind me and I get shot back. <laughs> but, um, that spot that I was in, though, is a good spot on this map because you got your cover to your right and the cover to your back. And then on the UAV, since I'm rolling flak jacket, I'm going to show up on an enemy UAV. But my position makes it so that they don't know if I'm on the top looking out through the windows or I'm on the bottom and that moment's hesitation can give me enough time to hopefully kill them before they kill me um, you'll notice that I didn't even head to see right now we're trying to gain position you'll see I just missed a guy right there but we're trying to gain position so that we're solid on A and B and try to get this faulty spawn system to keep them up on C so we can get set up, have a plan, uh, and approach it, you know, tactically. Uh, we've done that now. Once again, I'm playing with Echoplex upgrade, and I'm not sure if Reaper's jumped in yet, but he'll be in soon. Uh, they've let me know their positions. I take C. This guy's who knows what he's doing he gets shot in the back running away from an objective he just lost so now we're domed and really BC on this map is by far the best combination uh, because of what I can do here um, I can just run back and forth covering B from a relatively secure location and C uh, and take it out right here um, I see it's still flashing. Couldn't find him in time. Checked left and then went right. Uh, hindsight, you know, watching this video, I can tell that it's flashing long before those two guys come in. But rushing in on the objective, making sure I don't get myself shot, I missed that little flash. But no harm done. We only lost about two points and took it right back. <clears throat> you don't want to stay next to any window too long. Um, because they'll spray and pray through there. I'm not too, like I said, I'm not too concerned about nades or C4 or anything like that. Um, flak jacket pretty much takes care of that. Any nades spam through there, just really not going to affect me much. Uh, flak jacket takes about, I don't know, 
you can survive about two direct hits with a nade, successive hits, and then the third one would kill you. Anything other than, you know, if they're spaced out, you can survive up to like three. So um, this is a really good spot to have flak jacket. I'm rolling uh, dual mags, and the main reason I really roll dual mags is it's almost like rolling <laughs> kind of like five perks. So I have my flak jacket, my warlord pro, and uh, tack mask. Um, but then dual mags kind of gives you like a a half um, sleight of hand because every other one is a fast reload, and it's also kind of like a scavenger with the plus 50 percent ammunition right now i'm right in the middle of what will end up being a 17 kill streak um all with one weapon as you'll see uh well i got i guess i killed a guy with my my nova gas early on but you're looking at it between you know 15 16 kills with one weapon with dual mags ak-47 uh, really don't need scavenger when you're rolling it. So, you know, if you want to count each as like a half, it's like you've at least got four perks rolling when you're rolling dual max. Um, here, one thing I recommend is if you're playing with a party, always call out that you're losing a position, even though, you know, the game does, you got the flashing. Um, right there... I didn't hear the audio cue. I was focused on what I was doing, probably chatting in team chat. Uh, one of my guys called out that we were losing C. Granted, it was a little late, but I was able to get back, kill the guy, take the position. Um, family finally managed to get myself killed, just due to the sheer numbers on the lo on the location. But saved B. <laughs> Or at least got it reset. You see him that they jumped back on it there for a little bit. It flashed, but in domination, a reset can be just as good as a complete defend. So don't hesitate to spam with nades. Uh, I always try to kill the people on the flag first. It gets me killed quite a bit for sure. But if you can get that flag reset, so the cap has to start over again. Maybe you're dropping it down now so the guy who's resetting the cap is only one guy, so the cap so time is going to be a lot longer. You're really doing your team a lot of favors. Because, um, like I said, just like with the enemy team, they're gonna, you're going to be collapsing as you lose it. Um, if you can reset it, you give your team enough time to get there, kill some guys, do some damage. Um, so, but... That's if you're team player, uh, playing with the team. It's a little harder with uh, complete randoms due to the fact that you never know exactly what they're doing. Um, right here, like I said, I'm blind. I saw something move <laughs> and then just sprayed the area. Just a whole fail clip. <clears throat> we got a camper all game that... He just sat up there on that radio tower. I killed, I killed him once or twice going up that ladder, and then upgrade and echo killed him a couple times. Right here, my love for the the Nova gas, just love that. Uh, stops him, hurts him, lets me know where they're at. It's just money in the bank all the way around. Um, <laughs> game's winding down here, but. Here we go back to this spot, and that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Just you want to hold your position to, to stay off that counterattack. They're spawning up on C or whatever they're doing up there, but hold and B just to make sure that you're not getting any dudes like him. You know, you want to hold B, and you want to hold your objectives. Uh, actually, just lost a game where our team actually had more caps. Like a lot more caps, but we couldn't hold crap, and so we lost. Um, get a kill here and call my mortars. And uh, I actually do see that guy right there as I come out, turn to shoot him, and that's the game. Anyway, thanks for watching.